Hello there. Sorry from 17 once again. This is my Gears of War 4 Inconceivable Difficulty video walkthrough. This is Act 2 4, The Great Escape, and this is the shitfest you have been looking for. If you like a clown fiesta, an absolute clown shoe of a sequence, then you've found it right here. This is one of the worst parts of the game, and it's compounded by the new balance. But the good news is, as long as you hit your actives and follow what I do, this can be over very quickly. So, at the first part, uh, you're going to get bombed by this vulture, so dodge the bombs and uh, try to get good at dodging bombs because you're going to need to be able to do it later. Uh, one piece of advice I can give you here is that if you tilt the camera upwards it can enable you to see a little bit more than 7% of the screen as it explodes. And also, if the bike moves too quickly for you and you're struggling to navigate and dodge, if you hold aim you will slow it down. I don't know if it slows it completely, but it definitely changes the way the FOV works, so it, it, it gives you the illusion of a slower bike, and it helps. I don't need to do that though, because I don't find this particularly that difficult. What I do find difficult is how dumb this boss is, and the section coming up against the Kestrel. So once you get through the forest, the Kestrel is going to attack you, and you don't have to kill it. So all you need to do is swerve left to right, repeatedly. It's going to fire a rocket right, left, right, left, and all you're going to do is drive to the opposite side, and then when you get to the tunnel, you'll never see it again, hopefully. And then it'll push forward to the boss, and... What I'm going to do with the boss, guys, is I'm going to try to hit every active reload I can. I'm going to shoot the engine until it explodes, which it does very quickly, and then I'm going to shoot the turrets, and... When it swoops back down, I'm going to shoot the other engine, then I'm going to shoot the other turrets. And then once it goes, the, goes to the cutscene, I'm going to proceed to finish the turrets off. And at all times, I'm going to be shooting at a part of the body of the plane. Because although I do think it's invincible in certain moments, there are definitely other moments when it's not. And to maximise on damage and getting those active reloads, I want to do as much damage as I can, as fast as I can, so that when the core does open, you spend every moment of your waking opportunity hitting that core. If done correctly with the right actives, you can kill the core before it even moves away after the swerve. It will only take two rotations, and in this video you're going to see that. This took about 26 minutes and I hated every fucking second of it. I hope that this helps and you're not there longer because it's not fun. It's luck. It's stupid. So start when it swoops towards you, it's, it's completely invincible right now so don't waste your ammo, but get an active. Get an active, blow the turret, I'll blow the, the bum bit, and then shoot at the guns on the left. Or shoot at the turret. Either way works. Either way is fine. I was mixing it up a little bit. Then he'll drop the bombs, which you have to to, uh, to dodge. If you can see through all the shit, you can see the numbers of the bombs dropping and where they're dropping to know when to dodge. But it's not always uh, the best way of doing it. So this is quite interesting. This I'm doing something different here than, than the quickest way to get to the second phase. I must have been experimenting. So traditionally, I wouldn't shoot this... this turret this engine repeatedly but I'm doing something new here um, this first section isn't that bad though yeah I'm just going for the engines weird this is not the fastest way to do this you can do this in just two activations and I'm tempted to edit in the other version but I guess I'm going with a successful run so yeah this can happen but you're gonna have to dodge way more than you need to uh, I don't recommend it at all in fact I'm gonna put it at the end of this guys that's what I'm gonna do but when you get this cutscene, this is when the fight starts. That bit is easy compared to this next sequence. This next sequence is where you're probably going to die the most. So the turrets on the left, I always shoot the middle one, and then I wait for them to shoot, and then I shoot the left one, and then I shoot the right one, and I try and sway and dodge a little bit. As long as you're not in the lane of where the turret is, it will not hit you. When you kill it, you want to aim at the other turrets if you can, because you can hit them from here, and you can actually make them smoke from here. And this will enable you to get an active, and the active does a lot of damage if you can land it. And then when you swoop back in, you'll get your second active, and then you'll hopefully be able to take out the turrets really quickly. See that? They're already dead, because I was peppering them from a distance. Now, hit the core with everything you can, dodge the explosives or detonate them. Just keep shooting it, dodge the balls, they're really annoying those, they killed me. And hit it with everything, get those actives, hit it with everything, hit it with everything, and then now dodge the curves on the ground. It goes right, then left, then right again and then left on the final one, and then right again. And there you go. I think you're done. And then if you shoot at the car immediately, you should be able to do enough damage now to kill it. If you've been getting active, look, it's done. You've won. All you have to do now is dodge all the bullshit. And I just took an explosive to the face and somehow didn't die. 
dodge the crap. This bit right here, I don't think anything can kill you, because if it would have, it would have killed me, because I'm very unlucky. And then just ramp up here, and boom. Boss is done. Piece of shit. Hate everything about it. Okay, folks, so... This is one of the faster ones that I've got. It's not the fastest one, but I ended up deleting my uh, my failed plates. So this is the only one I still have. But you'll notice, once I shoot the engine, I then proceed to shoot the... Uh, see how it's all smoke in there? I shoot the gun over on the left-hand side. Now I dodge the the ship while shooting it, which is multitasking and ballerish. And then when it swoops back down, I do the other side. So, shoot the other engine. When it blows, start shooting the guns on the side. And this is the, the quicker method to get the first phase done. But I was experimenting on uh, on that other video to do something different. And if you do it this way, you do not have to do three dodges. You can just skip straight to the, uh, the next phase. So, it's all about actives though. Actives are so important. This is the third phase. You see how we triggered it? Boom. So it's a little bit quicker. But there was one I did where it never even dropped the third set of bombs. So if you mix up what you shoot and you hit the right things and you get those actives, this can be over a lot quicker than it needs to be. But good luck. It's a piece of shit and it's really luck-based. You take care now.